Tori here with today's um, Killer Kit video. So I am doing the Killer Kit video of the Felicity Jane Something Sweet Kit. And this is what I have left. Um, <clears throat> I'm calling it killed officially because I don't really have enough paper to do a whole page. Because there's not a whole page left here. But... I'm feeling like a little like hesitant about doing this Killer Kit video because I still have so much scrap paper and I still have lots of embellishments left so I'm like I was debating whether or not I should do the Killer Kit video but really I want to move on because I want to pull out full sheets of paper and I figured you know what I'm just gonna do the Killer Kit video I did use up lots of the paper I mean there's not a full sheet here anymore I can't do a page without like getting out a whole bunch of other stuff and while I still have lots of embellishments they're perfect for other things so that's fine so I wanted to show you what I have left and then I'll show you the pages that I made so this is the paper I have left so as you can see there's just a bunch of scrap pieces here lots that have cutouts or punches out this is probably the biggest piece so there's not really anything here really substantial but that's okay I love using my scraps if you've been watching my scrap your scraps videos so I'm still gonna use this paper I'm just gonna stick it in my scrap bin and um, use it for later so I wanted to give you a tip if you're keeping scrap paper like this keep only what you love now personally I love the Felicity Jane colors and everything so I'm keeping all of this but if you didn't like say there was an orange piece in here and you were like ah, I hate orange just get rid of it the other thing that I do when I do my scraps is I take all of these pieces that have punch outs and cutouts and shapes like that and I don't save the whole thing I really just cut the piece apart and save the big chunks and those are the pieces that I keep in my scrap bin and then all the little like pieces like this I just get rid of because I've realized over time that I'm not really going to use this um, so that'll go in the garbage and then the bigger pieces I'll keep same with this one there's lots here that I can still use so I'll just cut that off keep the big piece and then put the rest in the garbage so after the video I'm gonna do that I'm not gonna do it on the video but basically just wanted to tell you what I do with all this scrap paper and then if you want tips for using your scraps check out my scrap your scrap series um, I think I've posted about 20 videos now um, using just scrap paper so you can check those out I'll leave a link below and then this is what I have left of the embellishments. so a couple of these were things that I had purchased as an add-on and if you want to know what was in the kit and what was in the add-on um, I'll leave a link below for the playlist where you can find the unboxing video as well as any of the layouts that I had made using this kit so what do I have left I have let's see I have these two tags that came from the cut apart sheet so I'm definitely going to keep those and then I have these two 3x4 project life cards that came in the kit I just I think I forgot that they were in there so I didn't actually get a chance to use those but those will go in my project life storage and then oh here's another tag so I guess I have three tags and then in terms of embellishments I still have a few of these gold sparkly cork um, hearts and I think this was an add-on but I used about half the sheet and I love these I've just been like slightly hoarding them slightly putting one on every single page because I just love it so much um, I have about half of these um, hearts they're like resin or plasticky and they have words on them and again um, I really love these I just I've just been like hesitant to use them because I love them so much and then this is the puffy sticker sheet um, and I've used almost half of it I had a little difficulty using like some of these um, ones with words on them but I'm definitely gonna stick this in my stash and I'm sure I'll find a way to use those then these are the phrase stickers and you can tell I used about half of those I love them they're like black with gold and they're sort of see-through they're so pretty so again I love that but there's still a lot left um, this is the alpha that I had gotten I think is a gift 
And I did use it a few times, but there's still lots of letters. And I also have another set of these somewhere in my stash, so I'll probably just stick those with those and I'll still use those. And then this is the vellum sticker sheet, and I used almost all of it except for, well, I used about half of it. Um, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces left, but the rest I used. And then this is the sticker sheet that was in this kit. And there is a little bit left, but not that much. It looks like more than it actually is, but like all of that is gone. So I have this love, this so in love, beautiful, that plus sign, this um, wreath that says love you so much and why hello my dear, perfect, and you make me so. So I think what I'm going to do is probably just like, I don't know, I might cut off the pieces that are still usable and stick them in my stash for later. So that'll be ready to go. So that's what I have left. I don't have a full sheet of paper, I just have scraps. And then I, I do have lots of embellishments, but I also got a bunch of add-ons. So I feel like I killed the kit pretty good. So let me show you the pages that I made. So I was using stuff for my stash as well. So this kit is partially made from the kit. Like these embellishments down here, those stickers, this puffy sticker, they came from the kit, as well as a bunch of the branding strips and pieces of paper that are in here. This was from my last Scrap Your Scraps video. The rest of the items are from my stash. I made this page. Um, it is an 8x10. And everything is mostly from the kit except for this heart which came from Breckled Fawn and these foam thickers there from American Crafts and these puffy hearts are from Seven Paper but I fussy cut those flowers out of the floral paper and this paper back there comes from the kit and then I made this page using two of my punches a scallop punch and a circle punch and I used a bunch of the scraps from here. The background paper was from my stash, but all of these papers here were from the kit. And these chipboard pieces I had in my stash. Okay, this Project Life page is mostly made from the kit. Like all these papers here are from the kit. Um, this paper back here came from Feed Your Crafts Etsy store and this Project Life card back there and this one were from my stash. Okay, so this page also was used making the kit. I'm covering up these two photos because they have little kids in them that I don't have permission to show, but the papers, the labels, the sticker came from the kit. Yeah. <clears throat> And then all of these pieces here were from the kit and those labels and those stickers and everything. Um, these puffy or these foam stickers here were not from the kit and the stamp wasn't from the kit. But you can see that heart down there. These foam, all of those came from the kit. <clears throat> I made this insert and this side. And... Mostly stuff from the kit, except for the doily and this music note, those foam pieces there, and the letter stickers were from my stash. But I've been really trying to like incorporate my stash more because I have a lot of stuff and I want to use it up better. Okay. Um, just seeing what else. Okay, so I made this page from, this is a map that I got from this, um, theme park, or heritage park, and the paper, these items, the embellishments, this paper back there, they came from the kit. And then I also made this layout, and I can't really remember which ones have process videos because I didn't make process videos for all of them, but I know that this cardstock, all of the embellishments and paper layers under here, even this alphabet here, um, came from the kit. Actually that reminds me, I forgot to show you that alphabet. If I can find it. Here we go. So I did use the alphabet but there's lots of that left so that is also going to go in my stash. 
Um, the only thing on this layout that didn't come from the kit was these, um, this ribbon here. That's from my stash. And that twine and this, those stars are from my stash. So I made this insert. And these letters and embellishments came from the kit. This Project Life card was from my stash. And then this paper, those embellishments were from the kit. I made this layout. I believe everything on here except for maybe these enamel dots are from the kit. I love those foam thickers. Um, this one was combining my Take 10 kit plus this the uh, Something Sweet kit. So I think these cork pieces and that Project Life card and this heart here and the sequins here and this card were from my stash but everything else came from the Something Sweet kit. I made this insert too. I think it's six by eight. And everything on here, except for those enamel dots there and that rhinestone, come from the Something Sweet kit. Which I like the way this worked out. Even the bow that was in the packaging. So this one I used a lot of stuff from my stash. So this paper and this vellum were from my stash. But the embellishments, it minus that star, those stars, came from the Something Sweet kit. This layout, I definitely used everything from the Something Sweet kit, except for that Project Life card, but, and maybe that word on my mind. But everything else was from the kit. I love the way this one worked out. This one might be one of my favorites from the month. Um, I made this layout about my dad and my dog, Bernie. And the black cardstock was from my stash. The doilies were from my stash, and this foam love and the card was from my stash. But the papers and the embellishment label are from the kit. And the other side is my stash. This is my stash. So this page also came from the Something Sweet kit, so you can see that floral paper. I love that paper so much. I sort of folded it over, used that love paper. Everything except for the button and the twine and this um, frame came from my stash. So I like the way that that one worked out. So this is the next layout. This heart, this label sticker, and those words, and these, that label sticker, and this paper back there, this paper, that paper, they came from this, the kit, but then... Some of these other elements, like this card, the washi tape, this feeling happy in this card, and the washi tape here in this card, and that heart, were from my stash. So it's a little bit of both. Okay, so that's it. Um, so let's see. There's one Project Life, two, three, four, Five, six, I'm not going to show you the other side because the other side has the kids on it, but 18, 19, 20, 21 pages with a something sweet kit and some items from my stash. So that's it for my Killa Kit video today. Thanks so much for watching. If you had the something sweet kit, I hope you guys also enjoyed it and did a good job of killing it. And I'm sure you'll see a bunch of these scraps showing up in my Scrap Your Scraps videos, which come out each Sunday. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I haven't gotten my March kit yet in the mail. Um, but this kit is killed, so I'm going to put it away, and I think my next few pages might just be stuff from my stash again, and maybe some of these embellishments, which I think I'm going to leave out on my desk because I still want to try to use them. Okay, thanks guys. Hope you have a lovely day. Bye!